Okay, here we have the follow-up to the Synovatron DIY kit number one. And as I said last time, I was going to make a CV mixer. But what I've done instead was I've made, well, it is a CV mixer, but it's a polarizing mixer as well. Um, you've got a switch here, which in one position, it's just a normal CV mixer. And in the other position, it's polarized. So what we have here is uh, you've got to, to have the polarized to work, you've got to have linear jacks. That's what the, this kit came with. Um, so when, in, when it's in the polarizing mode and it's in the center position, um, there's nothing mixed in. And obviously to the right is positive voltages and to the left is negative. Now, um, it's actually quite a simple circuit. Uh, it's not buffered. If you want to have this buffered, you would have to add a couple more up amps. Um, you could put them in when the jack, you know, from the jack inputs, uh, just, you know, but it, it works fine as it is. But uh, this one is, um, you know, there's a bunch of resistors, uh, an op amp. This is a, this one I've used is a TL072. You can use an 82 LM358. You know, anything that's pin compatible is going to work here. Um, there's the backside. As, as with all sort of breadboard stuff, it gets a bit messy. And we've got the jack board as well. Um, I put the resistors, the input resistors on, on this board. It was just a little bit simpler. Obviously, this one is the output jack, so that doesn't have a, a resistor on it. And this connects up like so. And this will be like so on the panel. So we'll have the, the inputs, um, the attenuators, the switch and the output. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this over onto the studio side of the room and uh, we'll, I'll be back with a little demonstration of what you can do with it. Okay, here we have the attenuating mixer set up now in the studio. Um, what I've done here is I'm going to show you first just the basic mixing mode. So this switch is in mix mode position and we've got a, a square wave from OSC 303. We've got a saw from OSC 303. Um, a one octave up triangle from the MC202. And a one octave up uh, ramp from the MC202 as well. So let's have a look at mixing some of these. There's the square wave. Let's add a little bit of triangle. And let's add some of that ramp. And then we can add some of the saw. And I'll just play around with some of the settings. So you can get some quite interesting textures. Now let's just turn those off. And go back to the square wave. And now I'm going to, instead of using a, a ramp, I'm going to use the sub oscillator on the 202. I'll take it down an octave. Take the square out. That's the sub. Now let's add the square to that again and see what happens. Now let's add in the triangle. triangles, I just have to plug that in, sorry. Right, let's put the triangle in now. As you can see, we we'll change some octaves. You can get some very cool um, oscillator shapes. Now let's go and set it up for um, the polarizing mode. I'm going to use this to show off frequency modulation. Sorry. Okay, now I've got nothing connected except for the CV from the MC202 going into OSC 303. And let's just play, let's enter a chromatic scale. Uh, well, C major will do, it's easy enough. 
and then let's play that. And now let's add some audio range and a phone with the polarizer. Let's add some more modulation onto the other inputs. Let's add another LFO. And let's add an envelope onto the last input. And of course we can put them into negative modulation as well. As you can see, lots of complete noise mayhem. Lots of fun. I mean, it's almost getting to kind of percussive with the envelope. We can make the envelope negative as well, of course. Of course, you can uh, do cross modulation if you use a, an, an oscillator on one of the inputs. Anyway, let's um, let's wind that down before I scare my cats to death. And um, yeah, as you can see, uh, it's it's quite a handy little tool, and it's very cheap. Of course, I've got to make a panel for this now. I'm I'm probably going to use a couple of these blind panels. I only have four HP ones, but um, I'll see what I can do. I'll get this mounted in the modular. But yeah, I mean, you know, for the price of the kit, which is I think twenty two pounds. Um, I think it was uh, five or six resistors and an op-amp and a switch. I mean, that's it, basically, and, and you've got yourself a polarizing mixer. Now, if you wanted to have it buffered, you'd have to add two more op-amps, you know, to buffer the input stages. But I haven't, you know, I, I don't really see it being too much of a problem without it anyway, but that's up to you. Some people like to have their stuff buffered. And, um, yeah, as I say, you can get the kits from Synovatron. I'll put the link up for that. And I'm also going to include the schematic for this. Um, that'll be up on, on the blog as well. That's www.dinsync.info. That'll be a PDF you can download. And just have fun. Okay, that's it. I hope you have a good New Year's Eve because that's rapidly approaching. I mean, it's New Year's Eve today. Um, I'm going to shut this lot down and I'm out of here. And I'll see you next year.